Denise Nicholas is an American actress and writer. She is also a social activist and has been involved in the civil rights movement. Nicholas has made his acting debut while participating in a Spanish play while in college. She then joined the Theatre of the Free South, which aimed to provide a live theatre experience to rural African American audiences. She is a prominent member of Negro Ensemble Company. Denise Nicholas, an actress, gave up performing to pursue writing. In her own words, I knew in my heart of hearts that I was done with acting. In the 60s and 70s, Denise Nicholas played school counselor Lise McIntyre in the popular TV drama De- Room 222. She also starred in the NBC TV police thriller In the Heat of the Night in the 70s and the 78 sitcom Baby and Back. In addition, Denise played the roles of Black Killer, Let's Do It Again and Ghost Dad in movies. She gave up acting though to pursue another goal at the height of her prosperous acting career. In a December 2017 interview, Denise stated that she wanted to become a writer. She gave up performing to enroll in writing classes at her old school. With TV scripts, she began her writing career. She finally produced the acclaimed Zora Neale Houston, Richard Ryan's award-winning debut fiction book, Freshwater Road, which was published in 2006. She originally wanted to be a lawyer before becoming a writer. In a statement, she admitted that the civil rights movement was the reason she entered the arts. She said, I changed the whole direction regarding my life happened over time, but the most of that crucial time was during the civil rights movement, while I worked with the Free Southern Theatre and it changed everything. I hardly set foot on the Tulane campus because we were too busy touring Mississippi, performing day plays and engaging in conversation with those who were moved and, in some cases, moved to tears. I was still a student at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor when I joined the theatre in the beginning of '64. I was fascinated as soon as I started my apprenticeship with the Free Southern Theatre in Mississippi in June after arriving there. There is an unusual link between acting and the law. Trial law is a form of performance art that requires some theatricality if you want to succeed, else the jurors will choose not. The best artists are also performers, according to Denise. She admitted that her secret ambition was to write, and that she had given up acting to study and practice writing. She also strongly backed the hashtag Me Too movement. I'm so glad that this exploded and was exposed to the light, she claimed. Who has it and who wants it is the only thing that matters. On set, a director just so happened to be strolling behind my grab my butt. Other incidents, not all of them, in the Hollywood style have made me feel fear. Let everything end. The gorgeous former actress also co-wrote Letters from Freedom Summer, a play for the University of Mississippi. She hopes to release a second book before her brains turn to mush. Denise, 74, stated, I knew in my heart that I was done with acting when I resigned from acting to pursue writing. What do you think about Denise Nicholas' story? Please leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to channel and press the bell to update the latest news about her. Thank you for watching the whole video.